where the complexity of the system, the medical system, is such that local strategies without uh, any global vision will necessarily uh, lead to uh, unfortunate results. Aha, good. René Amalberti, professor vid Universitetssjukhuset Val de Grasse i Paris. Han är en av världens främsta experter på patientsäkerhet idag. I november 2007 besökte han Jönköping och deltog i det nationella utvecklingsprogrammet ledar, Ledningskraft för patientsäkerhet. Well, local strategies are important, but uh, it's as important uh, to develop local strategies as to uh, coordinate and make a kind of balance between the local uh, incentive. Otherwise, you are multiplying local solutions without a big picture of the situation, and many of the solutions are just patching the system with contradictory strategies one another. <laughs> So uh, it, it, it's, it's really needed to have this global vision, and that's, that's the biggest message. Mm. Okay, uh, and what can we in healthcare learn from the industry? We cannot learn a lot. Uh, we can learn uh, some successful strategies. Uh, we can pick and share uh, some, some of these strategies. We can also uh, try to uh, capture the difference. And one of the biggest differences is clearly that uh, when a problem occurs in the industry, the system stops and freezes. Uh -huh. And never the system can freeze in the medical field. So we can pick on shelf some of the items, but we have also to develop probably something specific, which has never been developed for the industry because no industry has really the same problem. except on very short term the airplane that has to land when he has a problem uh, if it is uh, flying or the uh, factory that has to stop so during this uh, uh, transient period of time it could be compared to the patient but the problem is that then they stop and we never stop oh, yeah. <laughs> mm. so you have to have a balance between uh, you, you can build an ultra safe system you said you have to have a balance yeah because because we cannot stop the system and because 20 30 maybe more uh, percent of the situation are degraded situation where any industry should have stop and freeze and where we cannot do that uh, we uh, cannot adopt an ultra safe uh, attitude uh, which is the case of the nuclear industry the chemical industry, some chemical industry, the aviation, etc. So we have to make balance and, uh, and we have to tell this balance to uh, the public. Mm. And we, you said also you have to have a balance between uh, that you have a space to think freely, so to say, and not to have a too restricted sa safety system. Yeah, well, there's a, a big temptation, one because it is simple, second because it is done by industry to make more prescriptive strategies and uh, to think that constraining the job will necessarily uh, result in uh, better safety. But if you do that in, uh, irreasonably, if you increase your prescription, you will reduce the learning attitude and the adapt adaptation of the professional to uh, degraded situation. So you will, you will save uh, some safety uh, aspects uh, on regular work, but you will lose uh, safety on degraded situation. Okay. So, so it's, um, when you talk about healthcare or, or any industry or business, uh, you always have the human factor. Oh, Can, yeah. Is yeah. it possible to... Uh, the human factors is just uh, how a human behave into complex systems, so that it can be seen very basically at the work position with the tools, uh, the protocols, the ergonomics, and it is valuable, and we have to do that uh, in many cases. But it has also to be seen at uh, organizational level and uh, systemic level, and the, the two are relevant, and more and more the future of safety will ask to focus on the governance and not so much on the basic actors. Uh -huh, okay, so that's, that's important to, as you said before. Yeah. And the governance is at different level. It could be at the governance of the world. Mm -hmm. 
it could be the governance of the hospital, it could be the governance of the national level or at the European level, and there are different governance mm -hmm. in the system. But uh, the responsibility for tuning and balancing the choice is depending on the governance, not so much on the actors. Ah, okay. Um, and at last, um, you also said something about having long queues, a lot of beds, that increases the risks. Oh yeah, incredibly. So, mm -hmm. If you are if you are in an emergency room at the hospital and just waiting for your turn, mm -hmm. uh, if you are number ten, the risk is very low because uh, the, the 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 team on on duty is not overwhelmed. But if you are after the number twenty, uh, the increase of risk is uh, rapidly double, and then can be ten times the risk uh, of the person who were number two or three, mm -hmm. because you are number sixty or seventy, the the, the persons on duty are exhausted. Uh, you have selection to make. You can be forgotten <laughs> in a in the side of the emergency uh, room, etc., etc. And do you think we will ever be able to build a perfect, safe system? I believe that we are far from that for many aspects. And one of the aspects uh, which has to be very central is the economy of the system. Uh, the, the healthcare is a non-end, costable system. So the perfection is uh, probably uh, uh, inachievable by all the national governments in terms of money. Okay. So we cannot have this perfection because it should ask for so many personal, so many hospitals and so many structures that you should have ten times you need uh, for standard conditions to cope with the ultimate problem. And uh, this is uh, absolutely unaffordable by uh, the money, by the citizen money, <laughs> because the taxes are paying the, 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 the system. Mm. And when you come back in February, what are you going to talk about then? I, I plan to talk about empower, empowering people, and uh, this, I believe, is, uh, is one of the main topics of the uh, seminar of the Micro uh, System Festival. And uh, I, will, I will try to uh, take lessons of different uh, strategy for empowering people uh, at different levels. And again, I will make the difference between empowering basic actors and governors. Thank you very much, René Amalberti. Thank you.